Hey everyone, it's Nicole. I'm here today with ThermoWeb using some of the fun DecoFoil products. I'm going to use two different colors of DecoFoil, the DecoFoil adhesive pen, as well as these really fun peel and stick toner sheets. So I've gone ahead there, you can see I have this cloud design I've cut out on my digital cutter. I've also cut the same design and size on the peel and stick toner sheet. And so that's what I'm going to use to add a lot of my foil today. So I'm just going to add a little bit of vellum to the center of my cloud design. So I'm just trimming around the insides from that leftover die cut shape. I'm just leaving a little bit of a gap around the edge of each and I'm just going to cut all three of the empty cloud shapes with those leftover pieces and add those into the metal. I'm just going to use a little bit of a liquid glue. You don't want to use a lot with vellum because it will buckle. So it's just a tiny little bit of liquid glue and once that's dry I'm actually going to set it underneath my craft mat here just to kind of flatten out nicely. Now you can see I have that same cloud design from Just Nick Studio cut on my peel and stick toner sheet. The toner is what gets the foil to stick to the design. So these black sheets are fantastic because you can cut them on your digital cutter and add foil over top. So it's really fun. So I'm just going to trim this down so I can get it to fit nicer into my laminator. And I'm going to start with the aqua color here. Um, really fun. So I'm just going to cut tiny little pieces. A little goes a long way. I want each of my raindrops to be that aqua color. So I'm just cutting a little bit larger than each of the raindrops in my design. And then I'm going to run that through my laminator really, really quickly. A little bit goes a long way. And as you'll see, I end up using some of the bits to kind of fix up where I missed um, foiling in the first place. You definitely could add a second color over that other black area there. Um, for now, because there's nothing there, nothing will happen. It will remain black until you get some foil over top. So I'm just going to quickly clean this up while I run that through my laminator. And you can see when I peel back those little tiny pieces, um, you can see that the teal color is there. I'm just adjusting those pieces to where maybe I didn't cover up as much as the black. Maybe I should have had bigger pieces when I started. Um, but not to worry, I have lots of little scraps here left on my raindrops. So I'm just going to add those tiny little pieces just to cover up all the black area. That's the great thing about these peel and stick toner sheets is because it's black, you can see exactly where you want to have your foil. There's no um, missing anything. Now I have this really fun silver pattern of deco foil. I'm going to run that through my machine again and just cover up the remaining black area on that toner sheet. And so they'll have silver along the top where the clouds are and then the, that aqua down where the raindrops are. The idea is I want to peel it back. You can see I have that pretty, pretty shimmery silver um, foil there. And I want to have it kind of there but not super shiny. So that's why the vellum will be there. You can kind of see it poking through um, underneath, but that's not overly um, obvious. So I'm just going to add some of these glitter photo corners to add a little bit more sparkle to my page. And then I noted some of, for some reason, some of the black areas didn't pick up with the silver foiling there. So I'm just using my pen here, my adhesive pen, and I'm just going to add a little bit of the adhesive to it and let that sit for a minute or two to dry. It goes a little bit of a milky white color when it's ready to go. And then I'm just going to use my scraps here of um, the foil just to touch that up. So I'm just going to take that peel and stick sheet and I cut out a piece of white cardstock. And the reason for that is because I'm a little afraid of just sticking it down onto my um, background in case I want to move it around or something. So I'm just adding on that cardstock per pure for my own reason, just so I can kind of move things around if I need it. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and pop with some 3D foam squares that whole top design with the vellum over top of the foiled background. So I know we're going to cover up a lot of that silver foil, but it does show through a little bit through the vellum. Um, and on the side, when you look at it, it looks really pretty. You can just see the silver peeking out. So I'm just cutting down some smaller pieces of foam squares just to gonna get that to pop up over in the top. And I'm going to add that all around the edge of just the cloud shapes here. And then you'll see that that fits really nicely over top. And the fact that I could cut that toner sheet so quickly on my digital die cutting machine um, made it so fun. There's no way um, I would ever have the ability to do something like that with foil on a larger scale like this. So it's super fun and cut very, very easily. So I'm just going to peel off the backing here of the foam squares, which is probably the most difficult thing on this whole project, to be honest, because I've cut those foam squares pretty quiet, pretty small, actually. And But it's going to add a nice little effect. This is the way, uh, because you have the foam squares, that's going to allow that silver to kind of just pop up through. And you'll still, you won't be able to see the complete shimmer of that silver foil, but you will get the effect of like a, a cloudy cloud 
Um, so otherwise you'd have the white still showing a lot through from the cardstock underneath. So that silver foil adds just a nice little um, texture. Okay, so I'm gonna get this stuck down over top. It's pretty easy just to line the whole thing up. And there you go. And now I realized once I did that, that you know I was covering up all those silver lines that hung the raindrops to the clouds. So I actually end up going in now and taking some of those off because I really wanted to have the silver show as like the rain and the teal being the drop. So I will go in later on, you'll see, and trim some of those um, pieces off of the cardstock front there. I'm just gonna add a little detail to my photos here and then I'm gonna go in and trim off some of that um, area of the die cut that I was talking about. So using a lot of foam squares for this project. I love the pop that they hand, they give you. And I think for every project, I always use 3D foam squares for my photos. I think it just adds a nice natural highlight to your photos on your page. You can see here, I've just cut out that raindrop like I talked about earlier, and I've done that for all of them. So now I have the silver peeking through where the thin line from the rain is towards that raindrop. You can see that a little bit better now. So I'm gonna just clean up some of these foam squares and get them all stuck down on the page. So now I'm gonna add my photos and then really um, I'm gonna dig into my stash from a previous project and I have some already done foiled um, for my last project, there's a foil polka dot that I had done for my Easter project a few weeks ago, and it was a pink polka dot done on the deco foil um, transfer the transfer sheets. And so I've already done it, and it's already foiled for me. I never get rid of any of that extra stuff that I might have left over from a project because you never know when you're going to need it. So as you'll see right away, I'm going to just take a couple strips of that and use it like a pattern paper, um, backing either side of my photos here. So I'm just going to tuck these in around my die cut that's already been foiled. And then I'm going to go into my stash and grab those foiled polka dot sheets that are the perfect color pink to match with the boots and the Hello Kitty umbrella in my photos. I also wanted to add a little bit more of that silver. I thought about cutting out some of the vellum, but instead I decided I would take my adhesive pen here and just make some little curves on the clouds. So while that's drying, you'll see it turns that more milky color. You can see it more solidly, and I will add some foil to that. So here's those transfer sheets that I talked about. The polka dot, it's a the pretty, I think it's called twinkling pink is the color of the foil that I used. And now I'm gonna rub a little bit of that extra silver, just a scrap from my cut earlier actually, onto where that adhesive pen matched onto the cloud. So just brought some of the silver up top, um, even though you can kind of see it peeking out a little bit underneath. And now I'm just gonna add some embellishments to my page. So I'm gonna add these fun glitter adhesive dots and I'm gonna grab some spring embellishments. These are just some die cuts here from Chamel. Trying to grab all the little springy things I can to tuck in and around my photo area. I do wanna kinda of complete the bottom part of the page because I have that large die cut with all the foil along the top. So I'm gonna try and fill in that area here to the left of my photo, just with a little bit of a photo frame and some just tiny little embellishments just to fill that area in to complement the foil. Because I have so much foil on the top, I thought it'd be fun to add some sparkly letter stickers to the bottom as well, just to kind of tie the whole thing in together. So I have these pink ones from my stash. I'm going to grab and add those to use the word spring. And they kind of pull out the pink a little bit more because I did a lot of the teal and the silver in the top area of the layout. I wanted to have a little bit more of that hot pink color that's in my photos. So this is a good way to do that. So I'll just quickly line those up, use my paper piercer here just to move them into the area that I want them to be. And now I'm gonna add some floral die cuts and that fun uh, rainbow too, I'm gonna add in above my title, which I think just kind of goes really well with that whole die cut foiled piece. And so really simply, just a few simple embellishments. I don't wanna add too much because the top's pretty busy with the big die cut. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a floral uh, here beside the word Hello Spring to finish in that journaling card. And that will pretty much finish off my entire layout. One little more circle die cut shape. I thought about using some other floral elements from another die cut pack, um, 
but I just found that it was just enough what I had so I left it at that I added a little bit of stamping underneath my one of my photos with the date and I'll probably add a little few bits of strip journaling along the left side of the title area there just to kind of fill that in I always try to add the date at least to my layouts if I don't add a lot of journaling sometimes I find the photos are self-explanatory so at least if you have the, the date then you have it all set so here's how that die cut foiled shape looks I really like that deco pen um, on top of the vellum there you can see the silver just peeking through and all the teal raindrops just make this so fun and perfect for spring thanks so much for joining me I will see you later bye bye